Hello, this is Sarah and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make a paper portrait in time for Father's Day. I love making these to add onto a card. I'm using the Procreate app on my iPad, add your picture, and on a separate layer, draw a rough outline of the body. And I like to make this layer a little smaller than the actual image because the layer will hold up the rest of the pieces. I try to color match to each layer because the hands will show, the hands will be the only thing I will draw a little more accurately, then fill in the shape. Next, bring down that layer and add a new layer, then outline the face. I'll be using the first body shape for his neck and ears. You could always hide the image to check on all your shapes. Then bring down the shape and add another layer for the hair. Then work on the clothes. For button down tops, I like to make the sleeves and a left and right side of the front so it has a line going down the center. Make sure to color coordinate each one slightly different shades of color so you know later how each piece is separated. Same with the shirt, I also like to do the pants left side and right side separately. Always check your shapes as you go by hiding the image and check if you need to fix any parts. Next, I'll be working on my son, and the same way, I'll start with his body outline, then face, hair, and clothes. Since he is matching, it will be very similar shape, and separately do the left and right of the top and pants. Then I'll work on me, do the body outline, then face, hair, and clothes. The dress is a little tricky because you still want to make sure there are some different layers to get some silhouette. So make sure the sleeves are separate to the rest. Save your final image altogether before you separate each layer. You could use this for your own graphic to print, and if you want to go with that route, you could probably be better at choosing all your colors. Sometimes I just choose whichever color, not thinking of the graphic, since these will be turned into a cut file for my paper portrait. If you want to cut this through your Cricut or cutting machine, take each layer from top to bottom and add that to bottom corner and start separating each layer. I couldn't fit all three of us on one page, so I only put the layers for my son and I on one page and saved with no background as a PNG file. Then I will take my husband on another page, all separated, and save with no background as a PNG file. Then you could add that saved PNG to the Cricut Design Space app on your iPad. You don't need the color to print, just use the regular cut option and resize to the size you like. I'll be adding our portrait to a 5x8 card, so I sized it to fit all three on that. I cut it on a letter size 65 pound text weight cardstock paper. Then before taking it off your mat, I use a travel watercolor brush and start painting each piece to the color that matches best to the original image. Since you have the original pieces saved, 
You could pull that up on your iPad or computer and use that to guide you on each piece and color accordingly. I try to color the lightest one first and end with the dark ones since I love using this water travel brush. You could just reuse the brush without rinsing it since the water is in the brush. I just add the pigment on top. Add all the details you like and let it dry to the side. Once it is dry, take piece by piece and pull up your original image, the final graphic image with all the pieces together, and the saved PNG with the separated pieces, and follow along which piece goes in order. I like to use this white glue that I will be linking below. Make sure to use little glue so it doesn't over soak the paper and you don't want the glue to get messy, especially on the really small pieces. Go ahead and finish the rest of all your pieces. I love seeing these all come together at the end and I also make these for orders so if you have a special image in mind and you want me to make them for you, you could also order these from my website. But you should totally give it a try and make a paper portrait for your friends and family, especially in time for Father's Day in a few weeks. Lastly, add these to a card or you could frame it. Please like this video below and subscribe. Thank you for watching.